Hello, everyone, and welcome to ABC Interactive English. I'm Mike. I'm Rainbow. And we are here with you guys reading. Now、yes. that's fine, but remember, we don't have to be doing this. It's National Lazy Day. We should be at home, lying on the ground, doing nothing, or in bed, or on the sofa. But we're studying, we're learning English, we're reading an article. So we're very special and very wonderful people, because as the article says, National Lazy Day is a time for doing nothing. And once in a while, that's okay. All right. Well, what if you think back, Rainbow? Can you think of a time you were really lazy? Like almost so so lazy, you feel ashamed. You feel ashamed. You feel embarrassed about it. You know, actually, this would be during、um, the pandemic. Okay,、well, I remember people the got lockdown? La- you know, people got lazy when they stayed home all the oh, time. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember、mm-hmm. for days. I just like lay on the floor and looked at the ceiling. <laughs> For days, and I also listen to a lot of like old songs, you know, like the Beatles.、Okay. But I just lay on the floor and looked at the ceiling. Really? Did you didn't get up to eat or to sleep or go to the bathroom or I walk? I got up, opened the door to get my Uber Eats. Oh, okay. But that was about it. Wow. Did you lie on the ground as you opened the door? Basically, crawl. Throw the food at you. Basically. Okay, that's pretty lazy. Yeah,、that's、it was just、lazy. for days and days. Right? Yeah. I mean, when you stay at home, it's、yeah. easier to be lazy, I think,、yeah. because your world becomes very small. I don't think I've ever done that. I did drive my motorcycle to the Seven Eleven once, <laughs> and it's like around the corner. That's, that's nice. Yeah. That's that, nice. I, I felt really lazy. My friend had done it a few nights before. And she lives even closer to the Seven Eleven than I do, and so normally I would never have done this. But I thought, well, she did it, so I guess I can do it. So thirty、like、seconds. Oh no, more like ten. Nice. Yeah, it was.、Nice. Re- it was probably harder work parking the motorcycle、nice. than actually walking. You mean you have to try it, right? Once in a while. You have to be、while. lazy sometimes. Yeah, and I think. As we learned、It's、yesterday, I felt very guilty about doing that, so I've never done it since then. But、mm. I did drive my scooter about 50 meters to the store. You can always say you did it once. There you go. And maybe it was National Lazy Day that day, and、maybe. I just didn't know.、Maybe. Who knows? Let's check out part two of our article. Did you know that being lazy from time to time can be good for you? When you're less physically active, you save energy. Also, you don't stress your body out. That allows you to get a good amount of rest. All right, National Lazy Day, a time for doing nothing. nothing. We're going to be reading, but we should be doing nothing. But let's just read this. And then we can lie down because、oh, I'm tired. We can read about how it's actually very important to take breaks sometimes. Really, as the article says, <sighs> did you know that being lazy from time to time can be good for you? When you're less physically active, you save energy. That's right. In our modern world, many of you, many of us, are running around like a crazy person, trying to do so many different things. And actually, we are burning too much energy. Whether it's using our minds too much or using our bodies too much, sometimes doing nothing helps you recover your energy. That's why sleeping is important and being lazy is important too. There you go. I love this idea. I just want someone to tell this to my boss, yeah, my、totally. teachers, my parents. It's good to be lazy. It's good for you. Get someone to follow me around and explain that to the world. But it's true. Being physical all the time or being physically tired can definitely make you feel lazy. Physical or physically, it's talking about your body, your muscles, your energy. That kind of thing. If you're feeling very physically tired, you might have been working hard and using your muscles. Maybe you're lifting heavy things in the hot sun, or working outside in your garden, and you're picking up things, carrying things. 
that kind of thing. The other way that you could be tired would be mentally tired. Your mind is tired because you've been studying, you've been concentrating. So if you did three hours of helping your friend move their their apartment, their property, their things, you would be physically tired. If you spent three hours studying, studying calculus and math,、tired. you would be mentally tired. So in both of those cases, you、You're、should、tired. rest.、Yeah. But physical is more about your muscles and your body. Mental would be about your mind. And you know what? You would want to save energy.、Mm. To save something means you are not spending it, and it doesn't go out. It stays in. So when we talk about saving energy, we are keeping the energy and not letting it go out. We're keeping it by resting. You can also save your money. That means you're gonna keep some amount of money to buy something or keep it in the bank. The opposite would be spending energy or spending money. So if you Save. You keep it in. You spend. You let it out. That's right. So being lazy, resting, taking it easy once in a while is really good for you. Here's、yeah. another reason why. It says also you don't stress your body out. All right. If you work too hard for too long, it can kind of build up, and it can make it really hard for you to then relax later on. When you have free time, you guys might have noticed this. One week, you're really busy. You got so many things to do. It's your final exams, and then you think, finally, it's Saturday. I can sleep in. But Saturday, you wake up just as early as normal. You're not able to fall asleep. You feel really tired, but your body is just so used to being busy. You can't just turn it off like a machine. So it is good to be lazy to take rests every once in a while. It allows your body to relax more easily, and that allows you to get a good amount of rest. That's kind of my problem. I get busy in the week, and then on the weekend, my brain still thinks I'm busy, but I'm not. But I can't get the rest I need. Rest is very important. Is. Rest is a time of staying still. So when you're resting, you're either sleeping. Or you're relaxing, but you're not moving and running around. You're not checking your emails, looking at books, responding to phone calls. You're just letting everything sit for a while while you just take a break. So, some people like to rest by listening to some music. Meditation, breathing, going into the mountains. It helps them to get into that mode of relaxation. And not to keep going all the time. Now, this is very important because otherwise you can really burn out, and then your body just stops working. So rest is important, especially every day at night, and also on the weekends when you don't have to study. Okay, so let's take a very small rest or a quick break right now, and we'll be back very soon to continue the article. When you get enough sleep, your memory improves and you focus better. You also cut your risk of health problems. So this National Lazy Day, don't lift a finger. Instead, feel free to be as lazy as you want. Your body will thank you for it. All right. Now, of course, it is important to rest, to take it easy, to be lazy. We learned about some of the physical things that you will see in your body. How your body will just have more energy, and then when you also can relax, you will relax more when you're used to it. So those are all good things, and those will give your your body energy to get up and be busy and do the things you need to do. But we can also Get a lot of benefits for our mind when we rest. It's not just about giving your muscles a rest; it's also about giving your brain, your little gray cells. Yes, there are so many benefits. The、mm. article says when you get enough sleep, your memory improves and you focus better. So these are two important things that are very, very necessary, especially if we are studying or reading or writing. We have to have a good memory and be able to concentrate. Otherwise, we can't remember the things we need to remember for our test. That's right. And as a student, you need a good memory. And of course, even as older people, 
We need a good memory, but your memory can get worse as you get old or、yeah. as you get tired or things like that. What is memory? Basically, it's that place in your mind where you keep information that you want to use later on. It's like your hard drive. It's like your library. It's like your bank of information. When you learn something, it will then be in your memory. When you remember something, it's like you're going into your memory and you're finding that piece of information. All right, so your friends' names, your birthday, your phone number, the things you learned in class that you're going to have to write down and remember for a test. All of those things are in your memory. Now, it's not an actual place in your brain, although a scientist could probably show you what parts of your brain work or get more active. But really, it's just the place in our minds where we store and keep important information that we don't want to forget, that we do want to remember sometime in the future. It's、yes. all in your memory, hopefully. Hopefully, in your <laughs> you、memory. need to have a good memory if you are a student. And the second thing you need is that you really need to focus. To focus is to pay attention,、mm -hmm. to concentrate on something for a period of time. So if you are focusing, you're really just not thinking about anything else but the one thing. You're paying a lot of attention and you're being very careful. If you can't focus, you get distracted by your phone. You want to eat. You want to run around. You're Not focused. So focus is important if you want to achieve any type of goal, especially in the long term. It's important to focus, and having that good habit of focusing for a little bit each day will really train your brain. So sleep is important for that too. That's true. Focus can be both a verb and a noun.、Yes. You can focus on things, and having the ability to concentrate is having the ability. Of、uh, the ability to focus or focus, I have a lot of focus on my goals. I am concentrating on them a lot. Here's another good thing that rest does for you. You also cut your risk of health problems. Yeah, a rested body is a healthier body, and a healthier body is stronger. Can fight off colds. Can avoid diseases, injuries, other things like that. No big surprise. A tired body. We'll get sick more easily. We'll get hurt more easily, and also we'll get better or recover more slowly. So there's a lot of risks that you take when you are tired and not resting. A risk of something is a danger, basically something that bad that could happen. We've talked about to risk as a verb to put something in danger. If something is a risk, there is a danger. Okay, it's a risk. If you don't leave home with any money or your phone, what if you get in trouble? What if you have to buy something? You could face trouble. So it's a bit of a risk if you leave your house and you're not prepared. When we talk about doing exciting things, they could be exciting if you jump out of an airplane or go hiking in the Amazon or something like that. But there are risks. Or dangers to doing those activities as well. All right, back to the article. Yes. So this National Lazy Day, don't lift a finger. Instead, feel free to be as lazy <sighs> as you want. Your body will thank you for it. Your mind will thank you for it.、Mm -hmm. Your body will thank you for it.、Yep. Maybe your parents or your teachers will thank you for it because if you get to rest. You'll be in a better mood. Yeah, I'm not sure your boss will thank you for it if you decide to not work that day. But maybe if you show them the article and explain it to them, maybe they'll choose to be lazy with you next year. They should. That would be nice. It'd be nice for all of us just to take it easy for one day. Everyone all around the world. So be lazy. It's okay. In fact, it's even good for you. It is. Just don't tell everyone that I said that. I'll <laughs> get in trouble. Bye. Bye. Did you know that being lazy from time to time can be good for you? When you're less physically active, you save energy. Also, you don't stress your body out. That allows you to get a good amount of rest. When you get enough sleep, your memory improves and you focus better. You also cut your risk of health problems. So this National Lazy Day, don't lift a finger. Instead, feel free to be as lazy as you want. 
Your body will thank you for it. Hello, I'm Tina. We're looking at this week's key words. The first one, save, save. 动词，储存，节省。To save money, we usually shop during sales. 为了省钱，我们通常会在特价时购物。下一个单词 ，rest, rest， 名词，休息。After a long hike, we decided to take a rest. 经过长时间的徒步旅行，我们决定休息一下。下一个单词 ，memory, memory， 名词，记忆力。Exercise can help you improve your memory. 运动可以帮助你提高记忆力。最后一个单词 focus, focus 动词集中精神或注意力。To learn well, you need to focus. 要学得好，就必须集中注意力。接着我们来看重点文法。第一个 from time to time， 有时候，偶尔，相当于 sometimes。我们来看看这个例句。From time to time, Kevin goes to the gym to work out. 有时候 Kevin 会去健身房运动。下一个文法 stress out， 过度焦虑或疲惫。Stress 在这里是动词，指的是使焦虑、紧张。我们来看看这个例句。The final exam stressed Tracy out. 期末考试让 Tracy 过度焦虑。最后一个文法 not lift a finger， 什么事都不做。Lift 指的是举起、抬起 ，finger 指的是我们的手指头。Lift a finger 指的是举手之劳、绵薄之力。这个用法多用于否定句。我们来看看这个例句 ：My roommate never helps with the cleaning. She never lifts a finger. 我的室友从不帮忙清洁打扫，她什么事都不做。Roommate 指的是室友。以上就是这一课的重点单词跟文法，我们下一课再见喽，拜拜。Sometimes we just get tired of city life, running around. It's busy. It's crowded. It's nice to have a big park in the middle of a city where you can relax, take a deep breath, and enjoy nature. Today we are taking a look at Beishanghu, which is the second largest park in Jiayi City. So let's take a look. Beishanghu Park is the second largest park in Jiayi City. In the past, Beishanghu Lake was used for storing water and growing crops. Beishanghu Park is an extended part of Boai Park. This idea is to bring Beihu Hexiang back again. Beihu Hexiang was recorded as part of the Qing Dynasty's literature. It means lotus scent in the northern lake. Now, Beishanhu Park is a forestry cultural theme park. The trail in Beishanhu Park is shaped like a musical note. The lake is used for flood storage. At the park. You can find many places to rest or enjoy the views. They include cherry blossom forest, Pizhuto Botanical Garden, grassy slope scenic area, and so on. Beishanhu Park is rich with many animals and plants. You can also find farmland green tree frogs here. This is a good place for doing exercise and taking a break. One of my favorite things about living in Taiwan is all of the parks that are available inside big cities. This is definitely one of the prettiest parks that I've seen. It's shaped like a musical note. You can go there and see a cherry blossom forest, and best of all, those cute little tree frogs. So if you haven't been to Beishanghu, I suggest you go there and take a look. See you next time. <laughs>